one ounce or felicitous alliance with Anaga Health as our esteemed channel partner. Within the confines of this illustrious congregation, we shall embark upon a cerebral odyssey delving into the intricacies of a chosen discourse. Fracture management and splinting refer to the medical practices and techniques used to treat broken bones, fractures, and stabilize them until they heal. This process typically involves immobilizing the affected area to prevent further injury and promote proper healing. Here's an overview of fracture management and splinting. 1. Assessment The first step in managing a fracture is to assess the extent of the injury. This may involve physical examination, imaging studies such as X-rays, CT scans, or MRI, to determine the location, type, and severity of the fracture. 2. Immobilization Immobilization is crucial to prevent further damage to the injured area and facilitate proper healing. Splints, casts, braces, or traction may be used to immobilize the fractured bone and adjacent joints. The choice of immobilization method depends on factors such as the location and severity of the fracture, as well as the patient's age and overall health. 3. Reduction In some cases, the fractured bone may need to be repositioned, reduced, to align the broken ends properly before immobilization. This can be done through closed reduction, manipulation without surgery, or open reduction, surgical realignment. 4. Splinting Splinting involves applying a rigid or semi-rigid device to support and immobilize the injured limb or body part. Splints are often used initially to stabilize fractures before casting or other definitive treatment. They can be made of various materials such as plaster, fiberglass, or prefabricated splinting materials. 5. Casting Casting is a common method of immobilizing fractures once initial swelling has subsided. A cast is typically made of plaster or fiberglass and is molded to fit the contours of the injured limb. It provides rigid support and protection to the fractured bone during the healing process. 6. Traction Traction may be used in certain types of fractures, particularly those involving the long bones of the arms or legs. It involves applying a pulling force to the affected limb to align the bone fragments and relieve pressure on surrounding tissues. 7. Monitoring and follow-up After immobilization, patients with fractures require regular monitoring to ensure proper healing and assess for any complications such as infection or poor alignment. Follow-up appointments with healthcare providers are essential to track progress and adjust treatment as needed. Overall. Fracture management and splinting aim to promote optimal healing, restore function, and minimize complications associated with bone injuries. Treatment plans are tailored to each individual based on factors such as the type and location of the fracture, as well as the patient's age, health status, and lifestyle. We sincerely appreciate you taking the time to watch our content on, groups. Your support means the world to us, and we are thrilled to have you as part of our community. If you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Subscribing ensures that you stay updated with our latest videos, updates, and exciting content. By subscribing, you become an integral part of our growing community and your support inspires us to create more engaging and valuable content for you. Thank you for being a part of the Groups family. We look forward to bringing you more entertaining and informative content in the future. If you have any suggestions or topics you'd like us to cover, feel free to leave a comment below. Once again, thank you for your support, and we can't wait to share more exciting moments with you on Groups.